1996, Southampton City Art Gallery acquired one of Gillian Waring's videos called Dancing in Peckham, which was made in 1994. Gillian Waring is a conceptual artist and one of the young British artists. She won the Turner Prize in 1997. Working with photography, video and recordings of performances, Waring's practice explores identity by questioning how we present ourselves to the world. Waring's practice challenges the audience by revealing people's confessions and investigating public personas, playing with the gap between fiction and fantasy and authenticity and artificiality. What is demonstrated in Dancing in Peckham is the space between private and public life. Waring captures herself dancing in a South London shopping mall. The camera becomes the voyeur staring for a full 25 minutes. Dancing like no one is watching, she lets loose. There's no music playing, she's dancing to the music in her head. Waving arms, twisting knees and boogieing on down with hair swishing. The passers-by react in bewilderment or indifference. Throughout the video you notice her switching tracks in her head as her dance moves change in style. This is an image of someone in fantasy and escapism mode, having a private moment in a public space, dancing like you would in your bedroom. It captures her stepping outside of social conventions to illustrate what it is to unashamedly lose yourself in the private interior of your mind. Waring mentioned being inspired by someone she spotted at the Royal Festival Hall who was dancing madly by themselves. Not in sync with the music at all, but someone who was caught in a private moment. There is something quite profound and uplifting in watching someone dancing free from judgement, criticism and fear to be free from being overwhelmed or consumed by others' expectations, particularly in a world which is constantly thinking about the way we're perceived by others. This work makes you think about the relationship between how we present ourselves in private and in public, how we perform with our bodies in these different spaces. It allows us to question what is considered to be normal or outrageous behaviour. Dancing in Peckham was created before the internet even existed, Perhaps when you look at this video, you might think that it's similar to what you might find on YouTube or someone dancing on TikTok. There is a difference though. The videos you might find online are arguably more self-conscious, with their intention to be entertainers or to be liked. In this video, and in an attempt to recreate the scene from the person she spotted at the festival, it seems Waring's intention is to forget the camera is even there. The passers-by left to believe she's lost in a private moment. However, much like the modern YouTuber or TikTok star, Waring did reveal that she practised her dancing beforehand, still having in part of her mind display and performance. In this age of the internet and social media, the lines between our public and private lives have blurred, with the revealing and performing of bodies and identities splattered on different platforms. During isolation, we are experiencing this blur even more often with video calls and live streaming, there is a feeling that our private lives are becoming even more public. We are connected and disconnected at the same time. Although Waring's reckless and energetic dancing creates a feeling of joy and makes us laugh or smirk, it also makes us feel uncomfortable. There is a disconnect between her private space in her head and her very public performance. It makes you want to know why she's dancing or what she's feeling. She's completely separate from the passers-by, revealing how we can feel isolated by the private interior of our minds in a busy space full of people, or how we can feel isolated by not knowing what's going on inside the minds of others. When on display in Southampton City Art Gallery, this video is shown on a 90s-style box TV, and it's intriguing to watch how the audience interacts with it. In some ways, it allows visitors to break free of social conventions too, by challenging gallery etiquette. Some of them, both adults and children, are immediately inspired by the video and decide to do their own version of it, dancing in the gallery and recording themselves on their mobile phones. Video art is a powerful medium, revealing so much about people and documenting as well as challenging the world we live in. With a lot of us having limited access to tools or space to make art, perhaps we should reach out to our mobile phones webcams, even our old video cameras to create. This groundbreaking work very much speaks to us today, and perhaps even more so than when it was first made. It can make us reflect on how lucky we are to have the power to escape within our minds 
to take a moment to lose ourselves within fantasy, wherever we are, dancing to our favourite beats in our heads.